settle for average has always been my motto in life. So I've been fortunate enough to get together with the brand NSFA and become a brand ambassador because there's no room for mediocrity in life. So whether you're out here and you're an athlete, you're in entertainment, you're a business person, represent and pick you up a hat. And for those of you who are law enforcement, military, veterans, first responders, use code USA15 and get 15% off. Click the link in the description and never settle for average. What up? Big Herc 916. Positivity, motivation. You know, people ask me, how do I like living in Arizona and how has that move affected my quality of life? Well, moving to Arizona, man, it's, just, it's been clarity. I mean, I grew up in California, was raised all over California, Sacramento, the Bay, LA, Orange County, and um, it's just changed a lot over the last, I would say, four, five years, probably five, six years, I've just seen um, just a, a big decline, man, on the quality of life. And, um, you know, during all the, the chaos, um, the wife visited Arizona and we decided to make that move, man. Um, I don't hate on California. I still go back for work and I love the car scene out there. You know, I'm a car nut, so anything having to do with cars, I'm there. You know, I, I go to um, Sunset GT when they had that. I go to um, the Malibu Cars and Coffee, um, the Quarantine Cruise, the San Clemente Car Show. You know, I try to hit as many car shows as I can in California when I have the opportunity when I'm not working. Um, Arizona car scene, a lot different. Um, nice cars, um, different crowd, different vibe. Um, I would have to say the LA car scene is just, it's, it's more massive publicly. I mean, because there's so many events going on um, and a lot of uh, higher in cars as far as even the young people, you know, they, they put their whole paycheck into their cars. I mean, cars are a very big cultural thing in Southern California, everything from the hot rods to the low riders to the exotics, you know, it's just a big, it's a big part of LA culture. Um, you know, more cars on the freeway there probably than anywhere else. Um, Arizona, you know, it's a lot hotter. You have some sick cars out here. You have a lot of people um, with these garages that have cars that are tucked away that they don't bring out. But um, when they do come out, you know, there are uh, some really dope cars to be seen. Um, I've been to a couple car shows where they're in these like um, almost like car storage facilities and they have a you know really good um, lineup of cars. Uh, as far as mixing, you know, and in, 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 um, mingling, I've had, you know, pretty good uh, interaction with a lot of the people here. I haven't ran into anything that I felt was offensive or people being uh, rude. You know, a lot of people told me when you move to Arizona to watch out, the people are there, you know, you being black and this and that. I mean, I haven't had any of that. Um, I look forward to really getting involved more in the car scene here. As I bring my cars home, I'm really close to bringing my wide body Porsche 928 home. I'm gonna be uh, showing the car when I go to Monterey Pebble Beach. If you're out there, holler at me, man. We can, you know, flick it up um, and, uh, you know, talk cars. But um, yeah, I'm excited to bring that home. That car has been, it's been in the works, man, for, man, four years, man, five years dealing with you know, mechanics who have ripped me off and what have you. And the Chevelle, um, it's been two years, but it's getting close. Um, I'm really close to having that car done and I will be showing it also in the next month or so, hitting up a lot of car shows. Um, I plan on 
you know, really networking with people in the car scene, um, doing a lot of marketing, um, you know, going on some rallies, organizing some, some cruises. You know, I know they have a lot of nighttime meetups and cruises out here in Arizona. So I look forward to getting involved with that. But um, yeah, man, um, Arizona has been a great move. Um, it's a different car scene out here, you know, in the summertime. And, you know, as it cools off, it seems like there's a lot more happening um, as far as meetups because it's not as hot. But, hey, it gets hot in L.A. too. You know, the valley's hot. But, um, yeah, I still enjoy going back to California, um, seeing a lot of the friends I've met in the car scene. I've met a lot of good people. And the cool thing about cars is that it's universal. So it doesn't matter if you have a JDM, if you have a, you know, a hypercar, supercar, um, you know, a resto rod, uh, pro touring, low rider, you have something in common because you have that passion. And, um, you know, I love going to those events and meeting different people, man. I meet so many cool people when I just driving, you know, a cool car out in LA and getting gas and stopping for something to eat you know, cruising PCH. It's just a lot of fun. Um, I look forward to cruising a lot of the the roads out here in Arizona. I haven't really got to hit up a lot of the the scenic spots yet, but they have some beautiful, looks like roads going through the mountains, going through Sedona, Flagstaff, you know, that are, that are you know, cool to ride up on and, and uh, you know, take pictures and stuff. And <clears throat> Highline puts on a, a good car show out here once a month. And, uh, of course, Barry Jackson, you know, that's one of my favorites. So I used to watch that on TV all the time when I was locked up, and now being able to go to it is, uh, is really cool. But, um, yeah, man, um, Arizona's been good. Um, hopefully California cleans up their, their situation. Um, you know, the car scene out there is uh, always uh, exciting, but – just you know the quality of life you know california unless you're you're really paying big dollars to live somewhere where they um are concerned with the the cleanliness and the safety you know it's just man it's it's this it's sad you know especially you know looking at san francisco how they let that go down the shitter you know i used to skateboard and and go all through the city i went to school out there and you know you had the tenderloin you had polk street you had Third Street. You had places that were pretty, pretty rough and pretty, you know, whatever. But it was never to the extent it is now. And um, man, it's just, <laughs> you know, whether they're breaking into your cars, you know, or pooping on the sidewalk or shooting, shooting drugs, man. It's just they turned it into a, just I don't know what they're trying to do to that city, man. But they ruined it. And it used to be one of the funnest places to skateboard as a kid. And um, you know, I know every city. I mean, every, you know, state has its bad parts. You know, they got a tent city out here in Phoenix, Arizona, too. I haven't been there. I don't care to. But um, at the same time, there has to be some type of pride. And, you know, for people to think it's normal, uh, it's, it's questionable, man. It's just like, you know, the blatant robbing going on in some of the places, man. I don't, I don't know how people are still voting for those individuals in office when you have, you know, individuals who are paying a lot to live where they're living and they got to worry about somebody doing a home invasion. So, hey, um, shout out to all my car people out there. Look forward to seeing you in Monterey, catching you at the next, uh, you know, Cars and Coffee in Malibu. I'll be busting out some really cool whips here in the next 30 days. And um, yeah, man, let's chop it up, talk cars, you know, have a good time, enjoy what we can enjoy and, you know, be positive. I don't like to really push anything negative. You know, um, what I say about California, I say it because I really, really love that state and what it had to offer and all the varieties and the cultures. but. Uh, man, I had to get up out of there, you know, they <clears throat> ran it into the dirt and, um, just coming out here to Arizona and, um, being able to have a peace of mind, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Cause like I thought, you know, where I was living before 
and it wasn't cheap was normal and here to see young people out riding bikes by themselves enjoying the parks and and just having what it what it used to be when i was a kid a healthy life uh, man it puts a smile on my face you know it puts a smile on my face to, to know that you know there's still places in america that you can go and you don't have to look over your shoulder you can feel safe you can raise a family and you can enjoy your cars big herc 916 Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.